two children are throwing a ball back and forth straight across the back seat of a car. The ball is being thrown 12 miles per hour relative to the car and the car is traveling 35 miles per hour down the road. If one child doesn't catch the ball and it flies out the window, in what direction does the ball fly, ignoring wind resistance? We are asked to give the answer in degrees measured relative to the car's forward direction. So to better understand what's happening here, if we think of this rectangle as the car, it's moving in this direction at 35 miles per hour, and the children are throwing a ball back and forth straight across the back seat at 12 miles per hour. Let's assume the ball is moving from left to right as it flies out the window, so we'll model the speed and direction of the car using a vector, and we'll model the speed and direction of the ball with another vector. So going back to the first slide, Let's call this vector C because this vector represents the speed and direction of the car and we'll call this vector B because it represents the speed and direction of the ball. The sum of vector C and B will give us the speed and direction of the ball flying out the window. Notice how vector B is also up here. So this green vector represents the resultant vector or the vector which would give us the direction and speed of the balls that flies out the window but notice how the direction theta would be measured here from the positive x-axis and we're asked to find the angle relative to the car's forward direction which would be the angle here between vector c and r which we'll call alpha. Now there are several ways to find alpha in this problem because notice how vectors c and b do form a right triangle. To be consistent with other problems we could write vector c in component form which because it's along the y-axis, the x component would be zero, and because it's traveling at 35 miles per hour, the y component would be 35. And then for vector b, because it's along the x-axis, and it's traveling at 12 miles per hour, the x component would be 12, and the y component would be zero. And therefore the resultant vector which again is the sum of vectors c and b, would have an x component of zero plus twelve or twelve, and a y component of thirty-five plus zero or thirty-five. So to find angle theta, we could use the equation tangent theta equals y divided by x, or thirty-five twelfths. If we take inverse tangent of both sides, Notice how theta would be equal to inverse tangent of 35 twelfths. So now we can go to the calculator and determine theta, but notice how we're not looking for theta, we're looking for alpha, where alpha would be 90 degrees minus theta. So going to the calculator, let's make sure we are in degree mode. So we'll press the mode key. Notice how we are in degree mode. So go back to the home screen, press second tangent for inverse tangent, 35 divided by 12, and theta is approximately 71.0754 degrees. Which means alpha, which is equal to 90 degrees minus theta, would be equal to 90 degrees minus 71.0754 degrees. So alpha is approximately 18.9246 degrees. But there's actually a much quicker, easier way to find alpha using this right triangle here. We know the magnitude of vector C is 35, so we could label this 35. We know that the magnitude of vector B is 12, so we could label this 12. So using this right triangle, we could say that tangent alpha equals the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, or twelve thirty-fifths. And therefore, if we take the inverse tangent of both sides, we could say alpha equals inverse tangent of twelve thirty-fifths and get the same result much faster. Let's go ahead and show this on the calculator. So second tangent twelve divided by thirty-five. And notice how we get the same result 
much faster. But of course this only works here because when we find the sum of the two vectors, the result is a right triangle. Whatever method we use though, the ball flies out of the car in a direction of approximately 18.9246 degrees relative to the car's forward direction. I hope you found this helpful.